Hello. Today we'll be setting up our Borrower Portal account for the first time. In order to access the Borrower Portal and get set up, you're going to need to enter your loan number exactly as it appears in your lending documentation. In our case, we have the RPMT number set up for you. You'll enter the other numbers that were provided. Then below, where it says logging in for the first time, select new account creation. You will be asked to provide your email that we have on file. This should match the email that you've received emails from us. Click next. After that, on the next screen, your loan number is verified here and you'll be able to enter your borrower portal PIN. This is a six digit code included in the loan closing paperwork you signed. When you enter the code, your verification will be happen to appear on the bottom and you'll need to select the security question. Enter your answer. You will also be sent a nine digit security code to your email. You'll receive this code each time you try to log in as an added layer of protection. If you put the nine digit security code in, you will also verify that. You can see it's been verified at the bottom and you'll need to enter a new password. Once those things have been verified, you will see that the login and submit button now appears at the bottom. From there, you can log in. On the landing page, you'll see information about your loan, basic information about your amount of payments, the maturity date, the total outstanding, the balance, last transactions. From here, you can also request a loan history by checking this box. You can also track your most recent modifications to your loan or request other modifications from our other available actions. From our actions section, you can upload a requested document or request a loan modification. Or if you've missed a payment and would like to make the payment up via Zelle, you can make a payment via Zelle as well and you'll be redirected. When you're all finished, you can either click here to close out the window or push submit if you're submitting a modification or making a payment via Zelle or uploading a document. You'll be redirected back to the login.